Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor, and I actually somehow made it to Las Vegas. I don't know how I did it, but... <sighs> well, this is awkward. So, um, let's begin the coverage from home, shall we? So late last night at CES Unveiled, many new products made their debut, including new products from the infamous company Parrot. Yes, Parrot, the company that would wow the crowds at CES every year with their quadricopters is back with a spin on their old product and a brand new one lined up. If you were expecting to see a new spin on the AR drone, prepare to be excited. Parrot is back with a brand new spin of their drone called the Mini Drone, which is smaller, lighter, and much more nimble than its older brother. Much like the older model, it is still controlled by your smartphone or your tablet via low-powered Bluetooth. However though, this new model packs an onboard autopilot, which means it will be much easier in flight for those less experienced pilots. But if you thought smaller and quicker was it, Parrot went one step further with this new drone when they attached wheels. The mini drone also comes standard with giant detachable wheels that literally allow you to drive this product up the walls and around the ceilings. And as if driving motorized gadgets around the floor wasn't enough, Parrot literally took it to the next level. But in the words of Steve Jobs, there is one more thing. This one, however, cannot fly, but it can definitely move. Parrot is calling their newest little two-wheeled creation the Sumo for reasons that are relatively still unknown. It can still be controlled from a phone or a tablet over a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection, giving it quite impressive range. But probably the most notable thing about this little driver is that it is incredibly fast and incredibly quick to turn and stop. Demos and videos show that this little bot can be going incredibly fast and make 90 degree turns and even 180 degree turns almost instantly. But even though this bot cannot fly, it makes up for its amazing ability to jump. From a sitting position, this little bot can jump 80 centimeters in the air. For both of these devices, they are expected to be available later in 2014 for an as of yet undetermined price. However, though, I can tell you for sure that I will definitely be keeping my eye on the Sumo. So guys, make sure you keep up with Dragon Rider Network and all of our CES 2014 coverage throughout the week from across the country. It'll be me and a whole bunch of other YouTubers covering it right here on Dragon Rider Network. So make sure you subscribe and like all these videos, and I will catch you at the next video. See you in future coverage.